Hey guys, I'm Nate, and I'm really pleased to finally be showing you guys how you can make your very own self-watering container gardens out of a 1.5 litre Schweppes plastic bottle. And this is also the same as an LMP bottle which you can get all over the place in New Zealand. So first, let me take you through the things which you're going to need to make, to make it yourself. So firstly, what you're going to need, obviously, is the plastic bottle. But then, to do the cutting, and well, you don't really need a ruler, uh, a ruler or a um, tape measure, but it can make the uh, process a little bit cleaner, make it easier to get a straight line, and obviously with the marker as well. Um, to cut the actual plastic bottle in half, I strongly advise you use a pin, and this is not something a safety pin, and this is not generally speaking what you would find in other tutorials, but I found this is by far the easiest way to make the first cut. I um, Alternatively, you could use a sharp knife, which is what you generally find, but seriously, this is much easier to use a safety pin, I find. Um, and also, you need a sturdy pair of scissors. Of course, before you do the cutting, you also need an adult. You know, this is not um, ideal for kids, uh, that particular part. Now, you also will need, um, or you can use disinfectant, or you can use boiling water. Um, one part disinfectant to ten parts water will be used to sterilize the bottle, and then you want to rinse it out with at least three times with fresh water afterwards. Then you obviously need your seed. In this case, we're going to be using spinach, which is the plant of the month through to the end of June. You need some potting mix, a little bit of potting mix, and you need organic compost. All right, so that's what we need. Now we can start actually making the uh, the, the planter itself. So um, what I found is for the Swips 1.5 liter bottle, the actual height of the container is 32 centimeters exactly. So what we want to do is measure to 16 centimeters which I will show you guys how to do now. Measure to, measure to 16 from these bottom, I suppose you can say feet of the bottle. Measure up to 16, exactly. And then you measure that over to the next foot. Sorry, to 16. Now as you can see I've already cheated, I've already drawn the lines on the plastic bottle before. But that's, hopefully that will give you a picture. And then the trick that I use to, to get the straight line um, around the curved edge of the bottle is I just use, you can use a card, you can use paper. In this case I just use the edge of the seed packet. And then you use that as a straight edge to draw your line. Okay, so now we have a straight line which goes around the bottle at 16 centimeters approximately. Straight line. <laughs> and now it comes to cutting the bottle. So again, um, I strongly advise use a safety pin. Makes things a lot easier. So using the safety pin, you just simply Pluck a hole, do you see that right at the 16 centimeter line? Now you pluck two holes next to each other. And that's all you need. That's a weak point. All you, that's all that you need to start um, your cut with the scissors. Because the scissors, the edge of the scissors will want to go through where the bottle is weakest. So now, as if you can see, scissors just go through like a hot knife through butter. Easy straight through and I can promise you you'll struggle very much to cut this with to get the first cut with scissors unless you first use a pen or a knife so now you just want to cut as straight as possible along the line that you have measured beforehand now don't worry if it's not perfect Honestly, it's not really such a big deal. 
if it's not exact, but what you just want to have two separate line, two separate sections which are approximately 16 centimeters each. Which began, because this bottle was 32 centimeters to begin with, you'll be left with two approximately identically height, uh, two two halves of approx approximately identical height. Right, so that's what we see. Now, as you can see, it's not perfect, but that'll do, right? So now, oh yes, I forgot one other very important thing, which is the wicking material. Now, this is something I really strongly advise also that you use, um, is paper towels or even just toilet paper. Paper towels are, are really good, and I'll show you why. Paper towels, alright. I use, I use paper towels as my wicking material for this reason. Right? Paper towels or, or toilet paper. And that is because you will find, as, as for this, this basil plant here, what I've discovered is, is that when the plant grows, right, the basil plant grows, if you use a biodegradable wick, the roots expand out to the edges of the container, and then they're able to actually penetrate through the toilet paper or through the paper towel, and then you get this nice little um, uh, root mat at the base, which is in the, uh, the water, which can then go directly through to the water in the container and it will water itself and we'll do this with our, our um, self-watering planter basically so that when the spinach roots reach the bottom of the container they can then pass through the wick and then that kind of sets you up with sort of like a hydroponic type system which is really ideal so how do we create the wick well I just roll up the uh, paper towel and then roll another one over the top, right? So I've just rolled this up really basic. Roll this, roll the other paper towel over the top, like so. And then I pass this through, through the funnel of the, the, the top half of the plastic bottle, like so. And then here we go, we've got our wick. So hopefully you can see now we've got a nice wick which goes all the way through, and this also serves to stop up to, to block up the, the, the top of the bottle so that there won't be any soil going through to our water. Alright, so now we see, you see I've got my wick and I've got the, uh, the container garden stored, um, already prepared. So now we just want to start putting in our soil. So, first, first. I, um, we want to put in compost. Now, I think I also advise if you're doing this inside that you do this over some newspaper so that you don't end up with compost on the sponge carpet. So we just firstly put in, as easy as this, just chuck in two or three handfuls of compost. In this case, yeah, just, just I found just two handfuls was enough to get me up to just about, just below the top of the bottle. Kind of like what you saw in the schematic, um, which is the thumbnail for this video. Right? And then, then we add potting mix as a top layer, which is really good just when you're adding the seed, because that allows um, for proper water and um, aeration for the uh, seedling. So now I just place that in the top of the container like so. You want to fill up to the top, the top edge of the container. There you go, just like that. Okay, nice. And then, before you add the seed, you want to pre-moisten your container. So I've got this fancy water bottle, uh, spray spray bottle. Um, but actually, firstly, you might as well just first just dampen it out with 
by pouring pouring some water. So here I'm just going to pour some some water over, and you want it to be moist, but not not waterlogged. But the good thing is, it's actually impossible to to drown out your plants unless you overwater, unless the base of the container itself is basically overflowing, because it's self-draining. It'll self-drain in the water. You'll see. Just give me a moment. The water will drain automatically through to the bottom. So if you look here, so do you see how there's water there in the bottom already? Well, the good that that's a good thing because it means it's self-draining. So that means that your plant won't drown and and basically die from overwatering. So now, how easy is it to uh, put in the seed? Well, let me show you. So it's this simple. You just put your you want the seed to go in about one and a half times the diameter of the plant. Um, below the surface or alternatively and this is probably the easiest way I know you take your seed which is the spinach seed you place it on the top like so right you press it down with one finger and then the easiest way to, to I find